Let's wire up this Miller for single phase power. Before I bought my welder, I looked online to see if there was any information on wiring the plug and I didn't see many resources. I figured I'd put this video together to help anybody who might be curious. At least for this particular model, it supports a wide range of voltage inputs. So anywhere from 110 up to I think 480. Because the welder can support so many different inputs, it doesn't come with any male plugs. At the shop, we have a outlet for a 650. I'll include a link below to an infographic that shows a lot of the common NEMA style plugs. This was helpful for me when I was trying to figure out the outlets that we had at the shop. A lot of them, however, will actually tell you their plug on the outlet itself. Once you've determined the outlet that you need, you'll want to order the right plug end. I found this one on Amazon, had good reviews was a reputable manufacturer, so I bought it. Check out that sweet illustration from the owner's manual that I colored in myself. Isn't that worth a like and a subscribe? After disassembling the outlet, the wiring is very simple. Miller dedicates a few pages to wiring in the owner's manual for single phase and three phase power. I am not an electrician, so if you are not sure what you're doing, I would highly recommend you contact someone who is qualified. Because I'm wiring this for single phase, I only need to use three of the four included wires in the Miller pigtail. For my particular case, with the 650, I'll use the black and white hot wires and the green ground. I'll tuck away the red wire and insulate it. When I looked at the pigtail, the color coding actually threw me off. The white wire actually looked more yellow than anything. But after double checking, it was indeed the white wire. If you take a closer look at the plug itself, you'll notice that it calls out the wire color for each blade. Once you've got the wires connected to each blade, verify there are no wires touching each other. Verify there are no wires that are Verify there are no bare wires that could short each other. Put everything back together and give it a test run. As I'm editing the video now, I'm actually in the process of rewiring this pigtail. I'm going to switch from the 650 to the 1450 and not use that neutral return wire. This will let me use a bunch of the RV extensions that I have already.